just started playing Minecraft and are having trouble or you find yourself getting killed early in the game, then you came to the right place. Today I'm going to talk the best tips and tricks for beginners in 2021. But before we do that, make sure to like this video and subscribe. So are you still there? Let's start. Number 1. Getting wood. Believe it or not, so many people make this mistake. As soon as they spawn, they start looking around, exploring their world, or even trying to find a village. This is literally one of the worst things that you can do. The first thing you should do as soon as you spawn in Minecraft is to find wood for yourself. Try to at least get 20 wood logs and then convert them to planks. This is the first step and you should do nothing else and nothing of exploring. Number two is finding a cave. Many players try to find cobblestone by looking for a cave. That's an okay idea and I have done this several times before, but this is really unnecessary. There's really no need for you to go around your world trying to find a cave. And the reason that is, is because you can just simply dig underground. As soon as you get your wood and you make your crafting table and you get your pickaxe, the only thing you have to do is to look at the floor right to you and just start digging straight down. Well, not straight down, but I mean, you get it. Start lowering yourself down. You're soon gonna start hitting cobblestone. You start mining that. And sometimes even down there you can find coal and sometimes even iron if you're really lucky or depending on your spot. So this is literally one of the best and most fastest ways that you can get cobblestone and this can make your quick, your day to do your things really, really quick and without problem. Number three, upgrading tools. As soon as you get the chance to get cobblestone or iron, the things that you should be making is to upgrade your tools, especially your pickaxe, since your pickaxe is one of the most important tools in the game. You use it to mine everything, and it's literally just what brings you the armor and the tools, which are the most important items. This is a mistake a lot of players make, because they always try to to waste their wooden pickaxe or if they have a cobblestone pickaxe they try to use it all up before using their new ones and this is really just a big mistake as soon as you get the necessary tools to upgrade them I mean the necessary materials you should totally upgrade your tools because it's gonna save you so much time and it's gonna make mining uh, getting wood and getting other stuff so much faster and way more efficient and it's gonna get you farther into the game if possible by the first day you can already have an iron pickaxe and in some cases even an iron pickaxe and even an iron those things that you use to cut wood and I think I forgot the name uh, but yeah still always try to upgrade your tools as soon as you get your raw materials Never try to use it up unless it's something valuable, let's say a diamond or an iron, then I'll be like, okay. But if you have a little crappy wooden pickaxe or a crappy wooden, uh, a crappy cobblestone pickaxe, then you shouldn't really just, you know, just mine them, like just throw them away and get your new stuff. Okay. My language is really messed up right now. I have no idea what I'm saying. So I'm sorry if all of these things that I'm saying feel weird. But just, you know, I hope you just get the raw kind of memory I'm trying to put you in. But still, let's go on to number four. Build shelter. This is something that everybody should be doing. Because literally building shelter... It's something just simply easy 
and I mean it's just a protective thing that you can do if you don't want zombies or all these monsters to attack you if you have collected and followed my tip earlier on and have collected wood a bunch of wood at least those 20 wood blocks then you should have more than enough to just build a little shelter you know uh, maybe a six by six space should be fine or a five by five space should be fine uh and yeah just build it just put some torches on it with the coal that you can find uh get a chest which you, it can easily be accessed using wood put a furnace and just put your crafting table down just those three things you need and it's gonna be simple and easy to just take your shelter to the next level finally tip number five and i think this time i got it it was tip all the time i don't know why i was saying steps i'm just still in the thought of building tutorials but finally tip number five is called mine it this is just something pretty simple but as soon as you do your shelter you're probably not gonna have the time to make a bed but even if you don't have the time to make a bed it's really good because instead of you just waiting until the sun rises up and getting his neck and eating you should do something productive in your minecraft world of course and the best thing that you can do is literally just mine it down just find a spot and just start digging down not straight down remember and yeah just kind of go try to find a cave if you can under your base and just try to find more coal more get more cobblestone get more iron you know you want at least by the second day to have more than enough resources to go on and make your second day better and yeah i think this last tip very efficient tip for your first day and these are five great tips you should follow but before i end this video and i, I didn't set this i'm gonna give you some bonus tips for your second and your third day so if you're ready let's hop in on those all right so let's go on with the bonus tips first of all make a bed pretty easy this should be a tip from the second day find three ship three sheep and kill them you know just simply kill them all right and yeah now here's another efficient tip that can help you save tools i mean not tools but materials and that is that don't rush to make out a sword if you have a you know i know in the morning we said that as soon as you get raw materials you should upgrade your materials but i was more specifying that for your pickaxe or the th the thing that your axe i finally got it your axe but when it comes to sword there is really no need to rush in for the materials and the reason is that your pickaxe or your axe can make great deals of damage right you can just simply use them to kill yes i know a sword just feels more comfortable and makes you feel more like a warrior but it's not a big need so if you don't feel like you don't need a sword then don't use a sword you know just use your pickaxe or your axe and yeah you know that's that's it number three is that you shouldn't go out exploring until you have enough materials once you have enough iron once you have enough food that can get you around an entire day and night you should feel comfortable going explore right if you don't have those things then do not even try to get out of your area because you don't know what's over there you don't know what's unknown and if there is something that looks cool and you want to explore but you don't have the materials then that just means you're gonna die and you know we don't really want that you don't really want that and so yeah so i think those are all the tips the bonus tips and those 
that's the end of the video so thank you guys so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this video make sure to like it make sure to subscribe if you want to learn how to build stuff more tips and tricks as well as fun challenges videos and we'll see you at the next time goodbye